Hey guys, today we're taking a look at a brand new set of lights. These are from Luxly. These are called the cellos and they're 10 inch lights. Now Luxly is probably best known for their RGB lights uh, such as the Viola. This is the first one and this is a five inch LED light but it's uh, RGB and you have all of the RGB controls here on the back. So you can go from uh, different color temperatures as well as any color in between, red, green, blue. Uh, so lots of options there and you can control it via Bluetooth through your smartphone and you can also control a group of lights. They also have uh, built-in features for strobing and flashing and uh, you know kind of pulsing from one color to the other. So very handy lights. I actually use them quite a bit. In fact I put them all in this uh, kit here so when I travel I have a nice set of RGB LED lights. Again you can go from basic uh, warm to cool like your daylight to tungsten or you can use them for RGB. Uh, so it's a great way to add a splash of color. We've used these things to simulate like televisions on set. So the talent is actually not looking at a television and we were able to add some flicker and some color in there uh, so that we could fake it. So very handy lights to have. So the new ones that they have is a 10 inch version. So these are the cellos. So these are gonna have uh, a lot more output and they're you know obviously bigger, brighter, but Another feature that they added into the light, and I'll show you that in a second, is the ability to add gels. Um, so they have a complete line of gels in here that you can dial in. And that's another great way of choosing that RGB color because uh, with the other version that didn't have the gels, you're kind of trying to pick that right color. And if you have to go back and reshoot and simulate that exact RGB, um, that could get a little bit tricky. But here you can enter the gel numbers um, and you can choose any uh, RGB color. Aside from that, you can also choose what the gels are over, uh, the color temperature of the light that the gels are on top of. So that kind of simulates it. So if you took uh, one of the gels, um, let's say peach, and you put it over daylight, that's gonna look different than a peach gel over tungsten. Um, but you can dial that color temperature anywhere in between. Um, before you put the gel on. So really handy, we'll dive into that. Again, these can be controlled in your smartphone and you can also control them in groups or independently. And also each light um, is measured independently and they all come with this uh, certificate right over here. So the, um, it'll have a serial number, the date the light was calibrated as well. So they are looking at each and every light and you know dialing it all in for consistency. So this is a little great certification in every light. So let's go ahead and set it up and um, run through the menu on the back and you'll get to see what this does. All right, so right now we have the light turned on and this dial here is going to adjust our brightness. So as you can see, I can dim this and turn this back up to 100%. We're in kind of in a green color. And if I keep dialing this, it's a different shade of green. Now we're kind of falling into the blues and we can keep going into more of the purples. So let's say we wanted to work with this purple. Uh, this button, if you press it down in this mode, will change the saturation. So right now saturation is at 100%. This is a 90, 80, 70. So we're kind of pulling the saturation away from that purple. And here's 100%. So that's the saturation of the color. Uh, and then this is the brightness of the color. So that's the mode that we're in now. So the other button next to the power button, if we click on this, now we're into um, just the daylight tungsten version or mode. So if I was to dial this, we're at 3200 right now. We can go down to 3000, but I can adjust this and warm it back up to all the way past 5600 all the way past 7,000, 8,000 to 10,000. So we have anywhere between 3,000 and 10,000 for our color temperature. And just for kicks, let's go to about 5,600. And here we have the brightness once again. Now clicking on the brightness will toggle it down to zero very quickly. So uh, if you wanna dim your light, you just click on it it'll go to zero and then you can brighten it back up again. And then this mode here, 
will jump to different presets. So that's 3200, 5600, 32. So it'll jump between 3200 and 5600. So very quickly, uh, but again, if you want to dial the color temperature in between, we just turn these. Now, if we click on mode one more time, you'll see that we have the gel mode. Um, so here, not only are we picking what gel to use, so here you can see it says pale amber gold, slate blue. So these are different gels. We can adjust the brightness of the light. Um, and this is simulating those gels. And what you'll notice is that our color temperature is set to 5550 under the gel. Now, if I was to click on this, we're changed the, to 3200 underneath the slate blue gel. And if we click it again, we're, to, we're at 5600. So not only can you choose uh, the color gel that you want, but you can also choose the color temperature beneath the gel. So here we'll dial it in. We'll choose a different color gel. And we could see what the 3200 looks like underneath that gel. This is 6500. There's 3200. So that's what that color would look like uh, underneath that, that gel. And we can dim it using the dimmer. So we have the two lights set up over here. Here we have an orange, here we have a blue. We're shining it on the user manual here so you'll see one side is bluish and the other side is orange. Now you download the Luxly conductor app and you sync to the lights via Bluetooth. Now as long as the lights are turned on and you have the Bluetooth on your phone, you should be able to find the lights. Um, try powering them on one at a time and connecting one at a time through the app so that it doesn't get confused. Uh, but now that we have them all set up, I can adjust the brightness here of uh, this orange light. And if I switch to the other light, I can adjust the brightness of this blue light. Now, if I set them up as a group, I can adjust the brightness of both lights. Uh, but you will notice that they are different colors. Now, if I have them set to a group and I choose a color, I'm actually choosing the same color on both lights rather than uh, operating them individually. Again, I can dim the lights so I have them working as a group. Uh, if I wanted to just change the color of one of the lights here, again, I can go blue and then the other one is kind of a reddish. Go back to the other one. We go from that reddish and maybe we'll go to maybe uh, a greenish and I can change the, the dimming. So we can choose the tungsten, the fluorescent, the daylight, cloudy, shady. Um, and then in the app, we can also choose our filter. So if I say, in, um, let's go with a tungsten color, then we enable the filters. We can then swipe through the different filters. Again, we have names of these filters, so we can always bring this back up if we have to reshoot. We know what color we use. We know what color temperature we use under the gels. And then we can adjust the brightness here as well. So in the effects mode, we have things like uh, strobing. So we can um, say loop and you can see that it is strobing. We could adjust the speed so that it uh, slows down or we could speed up the, the um, strobe effect and then also the cycling. But we also have a rainbow kind of effect here. So we have a start hue and a um, stop hue. So it'll go from one hue to the other uh, through those colors. So it's kind of a rainbow effect there. And let's see, we have like a kind of a sine wave where it's not necessarily strobing or flashing, but kind of more of a wave from um, different colors. So a couple of different effects there and there's some other stuff, but very easy to manipulate. Again, these lights are great when you're trying to add a splash of color to maybe some products or kind of a hair light to an interview or background lighting. Now they have them in a 10 inch version versus a five inch. The gels is probably my favorite thing. Once again, Luxly has made controlling RGB um, in these LED lights way easier than I've seen on any other company's um, lights. Most of them you have to kind of select how much R, how much G, how much B, all degrees. Uh, it's a little complicated and clunky. I think they're still figuring out their software. Um, whereas Luxly, I think, again, has the best hands down. And they have a number of lights. They have a five inch version, which is the viola, 
the 10 inch, which is the cello. And then they also have a one by one LED light, the big one. Uh, so take a look at that one. We're gonna have that one in the studio soon and we're gonna do a review. It's a little dark in here, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through the process of just kind of lighting this Sony and show you guys kind of how we can use these lights. Now this one here, I'm gonna set it to daylight um, just so that the camera will see the natural colors of uh, the Sony here. And then this one over here, we're just gonna throw blue in the background. So I'm gonna crank this up so we have blue. Uh, that might be washed because of this light. Let me turn this light off here. So as you can see, we have the blue background. We have the natural light here. And then I can change this to any color I want. So if I wanted to dial this to more purplish, I do like the blue though. So we'll go back to the blue. We could change the saturation of this blue. See it's getting desaturated. We'll go back to 100%. We can also dim it if the blue is too bright. We could dim that down. And then over here, I can kind of just rotate this product. And then in post, we can mask out the light stand. And then if we don't want to light the background, I could just turn this light this way. And now we have more of a blue accent to the Sony, which will get picked up as we move the product around. And I can turn this up as well so we get more of this blue. It's kind of doing a lens flare on the camera. Let me dim this light down here. So we can kind of get a stylized product shot here. So if we were creating a product shot and we needed to reshoot this, we can come back and have the exact same settings because we know what filter we're using, what temperature light we're using under the filter, and also the percentage of output. So if you guys haven't checked it out yet, um, I have a review on the five inch viola. That is pretty cool. Here's the 10 inch one. They do have the one by one version coming out and we'll have that in the studio as well to show you guys. Um, but if you're interested in any of these, I will have a link below this video and also on the blog cheesycam.com.